Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? I didn't even, I didn't know that you were there, even though I placed the camera there and I pretended like I was playing the video game. So anyways, we were playing uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, very awesome arcade game. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through my PS3 games that I have on disc, and we're going to talk about what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Uh, these are all games that I platinum. There's over 150 of them. I have over 250 Platinums for people that are trophy hunters that know what that is. I have um, about 800 digital games. Uh, so yeah, I've played a lot of games. I've played roughly 600 out of like the 800 that I have. I lost count. Um, so what I want to do with this video is I want to go through uh, the games and say what I like about them and what I didn't like about them. If they had, you know, hard trophies, easy trophies, um, all that, all that shit I can remember about them. People are bored, they need shit to watch. So we're gonna go through PS3 games. Maybe you'll find some that you like, that you've never seen before. I got a few rare ones that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna tell you that's rare. I go out often, when they had PS3 games a lot in a lot of stores, I'd go out every week and, and find different ones. So I know which ones kind of are, are kind of more rare, less played, um, shit like that. So we're gonna get into all that shit. If you're wondering behind me, this is a MAME arcade machine. We got Turtles, uh, we got Turtles, Ninja Turtles playing on this. I got confused for a second because I had Turtles in Time I was playing a second ago, but um, button mashing just isn't my thing. I'm fucking old. I'm getting carpal tunnel in my hands. Maybe if I quit clapping my hands like that, that'll stop happening. But button mashing isn't for me. I'm getting old, so... You know, I got problems. I got fucking hit over the head with a shovel in Battlefield the other day. I can't deal with this, this stress. So, uh, enough time wasting. We're going to get into this shit that I got over here going on. And we'll try to go through it fast. I don't know. Every time I try to do this video, that's why I'm talking super fucking fast. Because uh, I waste a lot of time with bullshit. But there's so many games to go through, it takes a long time. Might have to break it up into parts. Because I know people's attention span, it's only like 30 seconds, and then people tune out and they, they go watch fucking Dr. Phil or some shit. Um, so, we're going to get into that shit right now. So, here is my PS3 and PS4 collection. Uh, probably not as big as some people's collections. I know people have like their whole basement decked out with games. But uh, these are just PlayStation ones I have on disc. And I'm going to go try to hurry up and go through most of these and say what I liked about the game, what I didn't like about it, uh, platinum stuff, you know, all that jazz. Um, so we have quite a lot here to get through. Let's see if I can uh, pan through these. Some games I got uh, multiple copies of. So, let's get into this. Try to do this <laughs> without knocking the whole stack over. Because I have these in a certain, certain order. So, first game we got is uh, Aliens Marines. Now, people really hated this game when it came out, and people still hate it. But actually, I really, really liked this game a lot. I thought it was really fun. I thought it kind of stuck to the movie a lot. Um, it's a fun shooting game. They have like all the whim the weapons and and similar stuff to the movie. But this isn't the game that Aliens fans asked for. Um, Aliens Isolation is the game that people asked for. Um, so they were more happy with that game. But this game is a fun shooter. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I have two copies of it because me and my friend did it on co-op. Because you could play co-op and it's really fun. Um... Army and it's a, it's fairly decent, um, easy platinum. Um, uh, the multiplayer might give you a little bit of trouble platinuming that. Army of Two, uh, I got Army of Two, and then Army of Two Greatest Hits. This is going to be a more harder platinum. This is a good co-op game if you're not concerned about platinums. It's a good co-op game to play with a friend. But the thing about this game is they had a uh, a thing where you can make masks, you can make custom masks for in the game, and the uh, website I believe went down, which makes this game the platinum un uh, unobtainable if you didn't already do it in the past. So that's a very rare platinum to get. 
Um, <laughs> and sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company. This game pretty much ruined my life for a couple of years. So before um, PlayStation, they didn't implement trophies until 2008. Uh, this game came out before then. This this game, uh, well, no, actually, this game came out in 2008, but it didn't have tr the trophies were patched in on this game. Anyways, I liked this game so much that I put 1,400 hours into it. <laughs> so um, to me, I, I played the game for so long, I got the platinum for it, and I didn't really care. It was one of my first platinums. But uh, nowadays, if you're going to play this game, you're going to have a hard time getting the platinum because um, there's still regulars on here that are playing 10 years later that when I used to play this game, you know, 12 years ago, some of those top players, they're still playing and they're bored as fuck and they will fuck with you. Let me tell you, I've played plenty of battles against the top 100 people. I was in the top 300 when I quit. Um, or no, I was in the top 100 when I quit, but now I'm in like top 300, I think, but... Those top 100 people, you don't want to fuck with them. They will fuck you up in this game. So if you're going to boost the multiplayer for the trophies, I suggest playing on Conquest because um, Conquest mode uh, from you know back in the day, a lot of people didn't play it. But it, it does have some issues. It has some lag issues in, in the maps and, and server issues and stuff. Bad Company 2 came out afterwards. This was kind of like a Call of Duty ripoff, but with vehicles. Pretty good game. Um, I'm not sure how popular it is now. It shouldn't be too hard to platinum. Battlefield 4, kind of, kind of a flop. It's a decent game. Um, not too hard of a platinum, but um, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I like the original Bad Company um, so much more that it's kind of hard to, to beat it. Now, Battleship. This is a, this is kind of like a corny game based on the movie, but I love these corny games. I love games that are based on movies and TV um, because they're original. Uh, they don't really copy too. They don't really copy too many other games. So um, you find this fairly cheap. It's it's kind of a I would say kind of a rare game if you're looking for it in stores. Um, I'm not really going to go into eBay because you can find most games on eBay now. But um, when I used to shop for video games, I'd go into video game stores. And Battleship was a game I didn't see very often. I think this is the only time I saw it is the time that I actually bought it. But it's pretty easy platinum. Bioshock, great, great game. I don't think I have to really explain Bioshock too much. I think everybody's kind of played it. Bioshock 2 is a good game. If you play this for P uh, PS3, the multiplayer is going to be hard to finish um, if you do the DLC. Because the way they coded it is... You can't play the DLC maps unless everybody in the lobby has the DLC. So you're going to have to organize a session with multiple people to all join the game at the same time and all have the DLC and hope it lands on the DLC map. Bioshock Infinite. The graphics look gay. Uh, I said gay. They look great for this game for PS3. I think PS3, it didn't... It didn't really use its graphics very good until the end of the generation, and that came out in uh, Infinite and Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, it was very uh, bright, bright colors. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty good game. I, I like the other Bioshocks better, but uh, Blood Drive. This is actually um, kind of a rare game. Uh, when I bought it, I was looking for something similar to Twisted Metal, and I actually remember when I bought this game. The guy at GameStop <laughs> tried to talk me out of buying this because he said it's such a horrible game. So it, it is kind of a rare game if you play it. Um, kind of hard to find. I'm sure you can find it online, like I said. But, you know, um, when I was doing game shopping, I rarely ever seen this game. I bought it brand new, and then after that, I only seen it one or two times. Uh, Borderlands, everybody knows about Borderlands. The only thing I didn't like about Borderlands 1 is they didn't drop very much r uh, rare weapons for me. I think I got one rare weapon, the uh, the white uh, pearlescent weapons. Over 100 hours in gameplay, I only got one of them. So, And that was the same thing with Borderlands 2. Um, but both these games are good games. The pre-sequel now, I didn't like. I don't like the whole space thing. Um, but... These are all pretty, uh, you could platinum these games pretty easily. It just takes a lot of hours, probably 100 hours each. Um, so, yeah, I forgot to mention that on some of the other games. Um, 
Brink. This game totally failed and flopped. You can find Brink pretty cheap anywhere for four dollars or under. Um, everybody expect this game had a lot of hype and it didn't live up to the hype. But it's actually a pretty good game. I actually really liked it a lot. Um, so I kind of I would suggest buying it and trying uh, trying it out. Call of Juarez, Bound in Blood. This game, I'm kind of 50-50 about. I really liked it at some points, and other points I didn't like. I don't like the voice actors in this game. They're really fucking horrible. Um, the Platinum could be a little bit tricky, because on hard mode, it is you die pretty quick. But there's a lot of checkpoints in this game, so they're, they're, they're very good with checkpoints. So it's, it's possible. Multiplayer is a bit of a grind, because you got to get $100,000, so you're probably going to have to boost that. And I actually have two copies of that. So, well, move that stack to the side and uh, let's see what the next one is. So, Call of Juarez actually came out with a few games. And this is the Cartel. This one's a little bit better than uh, Bound in Blood because Bound in Blood is more of a Western. And this is a little bit more of like you're going against the Cartel. Uh, there was some multiplayer stuff that I had to find some people to play with, but from what I recall, that was a, it wasn't a hard platinum. Captain America. This is another one of those kind of like low budget um, uh, superhero games. I really like since I like comic book stuff. I don't I actually don't see this game that often, so I'd, I would mark it as kind of rare. Um, pretty easy platinum. It also had the 3D compatible. Um, and when I say 3D, I mean the stereoscopic glasses, not the uh, PSVR. Dead Island, a very good um, uh, zombie game, zombie fighting game. Um, I had a few itch, uh, issues that they patched, but um, you can still platinum it pretty, pretty decently. Dead Island Riptide Special Edition. This is basically Dead Island Part 2. Um, just as good as the first one. Um, so I, I recommend both Dead Islands if you haven't played them yet. And uh, not too bad for Platinums. Deadliest Catch. I don't think this game had a Platinum. It just had 100%. This game is pretty fucking rare. I've never really seen it very many places. Xbox actually made two different kinds of Deadliest Catches. The other one was something like Mountain Sea or some shit like that. Um... But like I said, I like these corny TV games, and, I, and I'm glad I bought this one. Um, it's move compatible, but you don't need the move. Um, but yeah, kind of a rare game. I, I, I like playing it. Um, and not, it, it isn't that hard to 100% either. Dead Rising 2, off the record. Um, now, Dead Rising, this is a series that was originally for Xbox. And this kind of came before Dead Island. It's a, this is Capcom, it's a little bit different, but, um, the Dead Rising series, it's ported over from Xbox, so it, it does have a little bit of issues. I would say Dead Rising 2 is, is kind of the, um, this one's off the record. There's Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 off the record. Um, this one's probably, I don't think this one was ported, I, I'm not sure about that, but, uh, this one has the less issues out of all four games. Um, but Dead Rising and, and Dead Rising Off the Record, they're basically the same game, but Off the Record has an additional, uh, section of the map. Um, <clears throat> but they are kind of difficult to platinum, um, in the sense that you gotta get like a hundred thousand kills, so that takes a while, and you're gonna have to go through the story mode a couple times, but it's a great game, I love it. Um, Doom 3, I remember I platinum this, and, uh, it, it's a pretty hard game to platinum. Um, I can't remember if this was the remake for Xbox, I think. I think so. And, and then it came to PlayStation. But not that many people platinumed it. I, I think there was a trick of how I platinumed it, but I don't remember. But, uh, still a good game regardless, just a bit of a hard platinum. Dragon Age Origins. This game is really, really good. I love this game. Um, but the thing about this game is it's very clunky on PS3. It often lags a lot, but there's a lot of um, um, different places to explore and all this other stuff. Um, now, Dragon Age 2, and also that's probably like a 100-hour platinum game. Dragon Age 2, this one's a little bit easier to platinum. They kind of fixed out all the problems that... that 
that Dragon Age Origins had. So this game runs a lot smoother, but there's a lot of uh, repeated um, map layers. So like, you'll go into a, a building or something, and it'll be the exact same design that you already seen 20 different times in 20 different other buildings. So I think that's how they made the game run smoother, is they just repeated a lot of things. I think they packed so much stuff into Origins that it didn't run that good. But um, yeah, this one runs smoother, but it's it's definitely not as good as this. But like I said, that runs very clunky. And getting the Platinum in, in Origins, there's a lot of different things you have to do for that. And I, I think also for Dragon Age 2. Because you got to make certain selections, and then you got to make sure to make double saves and all that stuff. Now this game is corny as fuck. Duck Dynasty, I had to have it. I hate the TV show. But, like I said, I love these these um, TV-style video games. So, you know, I picked this up, and I picked it up for PS3 and, and uh, PS4. Um, Duke Nukem Forever. Everybody was waiting for a new Duke Nukem game, and then when it came out, everybody hated it. But, I actually, I loved this game. Um, but it was really hard for me to platinum. There's two bosses in this game. The final boss, and then there's this, like, squid water type boss if you don't have the right weapons when you get to that boss you're pretty much fucked and you have to start over so there's two bosses in this game that'll really make the game hard to platinum but if you know what you're doing then then you can finish it um fallout 3 and fallout 3 game of the year edition uh, the Game of the Year edition, of course, has a DLC and a little slipcase. This is a very good game. Most people have played it, but it is a. Uh, it has some issues. The more stuff that you collect through the game, and the farther you go, the game starts getting laggy and it'll start freeze. So it does. It definitely has freezing issues. So I, I would recommend making, um, you know, game save like two or three game saves if you can on USB drives. This is easily like a hundred hundred hour game. Uh, same thing with Vegas, um, kind of laggy, kind of same issues as Fallout 3. They, it's just too much stuff in a game. And even on PS4, it's kind of clunky with the, the other Fallout. So, um, you know, we got Fallout, the Ultimate Edition. This has all the DLC in it. I would re recommend just getting this one instead of, uh, that one. Because you get the DLC with this. But it's still a good game. Kind of clunky, but still a good game. Um... And actually, before I continue into this next pile, my battery is going to die, so I'm going to switch the battery real quick. Alright, I had to change the battery. Like I said, I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to try to get through this. Uh, G.I. Joe. This game is pretty easy to platinum. I really love G.I. Joe, so I really love this game. And I think it's also a, actually a really good game. Um, it has a lot of the characters in it, and... Um, Kind of a rare game. I don't. I don't really see it that often. Even I looked it up on eBay because I tried getting another copy from um, uh, Germany, I believe, and um, it's it's pretty damn hard to find. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Not that many people platinum this. I, I finished it, but it took me kind of a long time. Uh, the story, of course, takes a long time in all Grand Theft Auto games. And then the multiplayer stuff is really hard. There's a mission in multiplayer that you got to do with with four people, and um, you really have to have a good team. You have to have no, somebody that knows how to fly the plane, and you have to split up in four different directions. Um, but it's doable. I, it took us 20 tries, I think, to do the the mission, and we really had to work out a plan to do it. Um, so yeah, this is a rare platinum. It's under one percent. So. It'll take you a while to do it. And this is the DLC for it, um, Liberty City. And this is the same thing, but greatest hits. So kind of like to get, you know, different copies of the game. Uh, Heavy Fire Afghanistan. This is better played with the move. It's a, it's a very easy platinum, though. You could do it with your controller. It's just a little bit easier to do it with the move. Um, usually, uh... Usually a pretty cheap game. Um, all these heavy fire games are are pretty easy to platinum and and uh, they're somewhat fun, but you can platinum them in about a day. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, anything with an engine? There's two versions of this game. There's the disc version and the digital version, and you get a platinum for either one. Um, now this game is kind of rare in my opinion. 
I've only seen it once in my life, and so I bought it. <laughs> but you can buy the digital, but the digital is kind of expensive. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy to platinum. Not very easy. I'd say medium. But there's a couple of online trophies that are hard to do because you actually got to find somebody else that has a copy of this game, which might take you actually a few months. Um, Jurassic the Hunted. From what I remember, this was a really awesome game. It's really easy to platinum. Not many people have heard about it, but uh, you basically shoot dinosaurs with guns. <laughs> so uh, I would recommend playing this one. Um, and also, I think you platinum it in like a day. Ellie uh, Nor. I didn't really like this game because I expected it to be like Grand Theft Auto, and it wasn't. Um, it's a decent game, but it's kind of a decision-making detective game. And this is actually like the rare... Not rare, but... Um, um, first day edition. It came with this film. Badge Pursuit Challenges. And uh, it was just a you know pretty cool bonus that came with the, uh, the pre-order. So that was cool about that. And they also have that on PS4 now. Um, pretty easy platinum. I think you just had to uh, find a lot of cars in it was one of the things that took a lot of time. Uh, the Lego games, I'm not going to get too much into these because they're all basically the same. Um, so there's not much to say about Lego Batman. But I will say about Lego uh, Harry Potter, um, my friend had gave me this because he was really into Harry Potter and he ended up going to prison and he read all the Harry Potter books in prison. So when he got out, he got this because it had the mo it comes with the movie in it. Um, I can't, I'm trying to hold the camcorder and do this at the same time. It's got the movie in it. So I remember he tried trading this game in and they wouldn't take it. <laughs> they said it was worthless. So he threw the, this in my car and was like, here, you can have it. Um, now the thing about Lego Harry Potter is there's, it's a bit glitchy. A lot of these Lego games are a bit glitchy. Um, which you could get stuck at 99% and not platinum it. So uh, luckily I've platinumed all my Lego games that I have, except the ones that I just didn't finish playing yet. But uh, most LEGO games do have some... I've had a lot of people message me asking me about this game if I had issues platinuming it. And uh, I think I did have one issue and I fixed it and I platinumed it. Um, Indiana Jones, this one I actually didn't play. Um, I played part two. I started part two and then I bought this on accident thinking it was part two. Um, so I just added it to the collection and never really played it. Because it doesn't. this one doesn't have trophies. Only part two has trophies. So, um, now I gotta look to see, get this stack over here. Let me, uh, I'm gonna set this down for a second. Actually, just gonna move all this stuff over. Alright, so, so far we've been through these three stacks so we're gonna go for this one so what do we got here uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean um, pretty good game like I said it's it's just like every other Lego game Lego Star Wars I remember this one took me um, kind of long to do all these Lego games kind of take you long to do some of them you could use the cheat codes but the cheat codes sometimes will fuck the game up so you want to look into that before you use them um, they can mess some of the trophies up and then glitch some things. Lollipop Chainsaw. This is a pretty popular game. A lot of girls like it. A lot of guys like it. Um, I just finally finished this after like <laughs> 10 years or so. Um, some of the maps can be quite annoying to finish, but um, I'd say the, the, the Platinum's somewhat hard. Some of the maps can be pretty difficult, and they're very long to do some of the maps so if you miss something on a map and you have to go back like you miss something on a boss fight or something you have to replay the entire map and there's a lot of cutscenes which really makes it you know takes forever um mafia 2 um now the remake for this on ps4 is um really shitty and glitchy i heard um this is a decent game but there's a stupid trophy in this where you have to do you have to drive so many miles, and after you finish the game, you're only probably like 10% the amount of miles that you need out of, you know, 
thousand or something like that. It's really fucking ridiculous. So there is a glitch where you can drive through the wall at a certain point and you continuously fall forever and that'll count as miles. So I would suggest if you platinum it, you should do that glitch because if you were just driving to get that last trophy, it is, it's stupid. You would have to drive in a circle for hours. Mag, this was a really awesome game. You can't play it now. It's it's online only and the, the servers are disconnected. This was a, I believe, 254 player online game. So 254 people would fight at the same time. And you'd have different squads come in from different sections. Um, really awesome game. The only thing I didn't like about this game back when you used to be able to play it was... Uh, the clans, if you were the leader of a, of your squad and you were in a, a clan was in your server, they would vote to kick you so they would become the leader. So that was pretty shitty. Um, Monopoly Streets, this is just like every other Monopoly game. They constantly remake the Monopoly games. Uh, like, I've probably platinum Monopoly like 10 times now. Um, but this is a pretty fun game. If you could get it for, uh, if you get it for cheap, it's a quick, um, Quick Fun Platinum. Monster Jam Path of Destruction. This is another Quick Platinum. Um, only take you a few hours, really. Um, cheap game. This really, I mean, it's just kind of like a low-budget game. I, I had fun with it. Like I said, I like low-budget, shitty games. <laughs> so, that one's not too bad. Um, this one I'm not going to get into. It's sealed. I'm not into these sports games. They, they usually disconnect off of the servers, and you can't get the trophies. Um... James Bond Quantum of Solace. This is actually a really fun game, but you can't platinum it now because the multiplayer servers are dead. Um, so I just finished this the other day, but I didn't get to play the uh, the uh, multiplayer because the, the servers are shut down. But, um, you know, the graphics ain't too bad. Uh, so if you like James Bond's games, it's pretty good. Um, Red Dead Redemption. You know, everybody's played this game. It'll take you forever to finish it. I think it took me nine years to finish all the DLC because um, I lost my game save and then it was like I had to take a break. And uh, Undead Nightmare is basically the DLC, one of the DLCs for uh, Red Dead. Uh, somebody gave me that one. So Red Faction Gorilla. This is a good game, but um, it's it, it's a very rare platinum. It'll take you forever to platinum. It's one of my rarest. Um, the thing is with this game is in single player there's a lot of uh like i think there were stunts and races you had to do and those are pretty shitty but the multiplayer on this will take fucking forever so if you really want a rare game like i said i got four copies of this and a lot of friends play it with me on online because i got four playstations but um i had a i ended up with a good boosting group on online um I remember my friend Haz was one, and I don't remember the other two people that that helped out, but uh, we all took us months to finish this together. And we all stuck together, and we all made sure we all stayed and helped and finished. And that's what I love about gaming is, you know, one person will finish, but they'll stay and help. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how you make good friends. Um, Resident Evil 5... People kind of shit on this game a little bit when it came out. Um, we got the Gold Edition, which has the DLC. Um, it's a good game once you get past that. Everything after Resident Evil, like, 2 or 3 is different. So they made all the Resident Evil difference. Um, so once you get past that, it, it's a pretty good game. I like it. Um, but I lost my game save three times for this. So I had to do Professional... Um, difficulty three different times, which just really was annoying. Resident Evil 6, another game that gets shit on, but once you accept it for what it is, it's actually a good, like, shooter. Um, it's not like the, Re it's not like Resident Evil 2 where you run around and, um, solve puzzles and all that other shit. It has a little bit of that in it, but this is more of kind of like a, a shooter. Um, but, you know, this, this, the platinum for this obtainable, platinum for part 5 is obtain, uh, you know, obtainable. Um, you, you're probably going to have to find uh, somebody online to help you with it. Resident Evil Revelations. I like this because it kind of went back to Resident Evil 2 a little bit with the, with the uh, 
searching around you go inside a boat and you're kind of searching around for clues to open up different doors and stuff so i did like that but the um there's another section of this game i forget what it's called at the moment um but the other part of this game is is hard and that's what makes this game hard to platinum because you have to level up and, and and all this other crap uh resistance fall man i don't think that one had trophies it's it's a good game but you know um I'm thinking of part one or part two. I'm getting them mixed up. But the uh, part two, I believe, the server is offline, so you can't platinum that game. Resistance 3 is a pretty easy, quick platinum. Um, good game. It's just like the other Resistance. Um, both kind of similar, same guns and, and monsters and shit like that. But they made this one a lot more easier to platinum. Um, now Riddick, this game will take you really long time to platinum. Um, it's a good game, uh, but the multiplayer will take forever to platinum. Even the single player, there's like, uh, it, it's good, it's kind of outdated, but it's good, but the single player will take you a long time, so this very hard platinum. Uh, Rogue Warrior, uh, this is like a shitty game. <laughs> it's really shitty. Mickey Rourke does a voice in it, which is cool. Oh, and speaking of voices, uh, Call of Horrors, uh, The Bound in Blood, I hate the voices in that game. Um, it, it'll really make you <laughs> fucking annoyed. Um, the only thing good about this game is, you know, uh, Mickey Rourke does the voice, so that's kind of cool. But the game itself is shitty. Not that bad, the Platinum. Um, you'll have to find some people to do the multiplayer trophy trophies. Oh, and here's Resistance 2. I, might, I had them out of order. So, yeah, Resistance 1 doesn't have any trophies, if I'm correct. And then this one, <coughs> the server's dead. But like I said, I'm losing my fucking voice. Um, Silent Hill Downpour. Um, a lot of people hated this game. I actually really liked it a lot. It is a little bit glitchy. It has a little bit of problems with it, but you can still platinum it. It's not too hard to platinum. I'd say medium. Um... But I liked it for a Silent Hill game. I don't know why I got so much hate. People still continuously to this day say it's a really shitty game. But I, like I said, I like it. I guess I like shitty games. Singularity. I, I would advise playing this one. It's not that hard to platinum. I'd say medium uh, again. But this game is kind of very unique in the way it has, like, um, the weapons it has. I believe you had some kind of thing on your like palm that you could shoot I don't remember oh yeah it opens up portals that's what it did that's what that thing is I think it opens up portals or some shit like that um, but uh, these uh, decent uh, game to platinum and um, pretty fun to play sniper 2 I just went back in and finished this and I ended up getting another copy because there was something wrong with my original copy um, this game, the controls were shit in this game, so what I had to do is pl plug my PS4 controller in. I suggest using a PS4 controller to play this game. It, it's a lot it's a lot easier. Um, when I was trying to do it with the PS3 controller, I kept having a hard time. Now the thing about this game is, the, you have to beat it on hard mode, so I think it's the first or second map on hard mode seems impossible. There's a checkpoint that is really horrible in that game. Once you get past that checkpoint, the rest of the game on hard isn't that bad. I think there's only one other section that, that gave me as much problems, but um, once you get past that one checkpoint, then the rest of the game is like almost cakewalk. I mean, it's it's hard, but it's cakewalk compared to that one checkpoint. And then also you'll have to find somebody to do the multiplayer with you on, on that. Because um, there's a few stupid multiplayer trophies and the game is, is pretty much dead. So, let's see if we get this put to the side. I have to put the camera down again to get this other bunch. So we're almost through this. I'm trying to do this in less than 30 minutes, but I don't think I am. So I'm gonna try I'm trying to get it under an hour at least. Like I said, I'm trying to I'm kind of just doing this so people have something to watch for uh <clears throat> during corona, so they have, you know, maybe they'll find a game that they like to play or you know, some new stuff. Um, Sega Genesis, the Sonic Ultimate uh, Collection. This has a lot of games in it, and uh, you don't have to finish all the games to get the Platinum. Platinum's pretty easy to get. 
Plus, if you like Genesis and the, a lot of the old Genesis games, there's a lot of them on here. So, pretty good game. I recommend it. Pretty easy platinum. This game is a really easy platinum. This is one of the uh, first games in the PS3 days to actually be a very easy platinum to get. And uh, I'm a big Terminator 2 fan. Um, so Terminator Salvation, it, this was a actually really good video game. Um, you can platinum it fast, it's easy. Um, and if you like Terminator, it's a really good game. Uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, this game, you could easily put 100 hours into it, but it doesn't have a platinum. Um, but pretty good game. The Godfather 2. This is kind of like a, a Grand Theft Auto type of game, but with a mafia based on the Godfather movie. This is a really good game, and I don't remember hearing about it much. The only problem with this game is I couldn't get it to start up. So what I did was I deleted the, the, the patch and I played it offline. And by that, the game would start up and, and actually work. And I don't know why it's why it was like that, but that's how I got to finish it and platinum it. Uh, not too hard of a platinum to do. Um, Rainbow Six Vegas is one of the first PS3 games I had. Um, there's no platinum for this one, but it's just a pretty good shooter game. Uh, Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Um, pretty decent wrestling game. Um, not too hard to platinum. But the thing about this game is, is you have to buy the online pass because one trophy is online related. So you're going to end up spending $10 to get the platinum if you, or else you're going to be stuck at like 99% or whatever it is. Um, because they put that one trophy in there that's online and in order to go online you had, this is when they had the online passes. Thank God they, they did away with that stupid shit because that, that stuff was... Yeah, that stuff was horrible. Um, but yeah, that's so... I don't know if the servers are still up, but, you know, whatever. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. There's there's a different Walking Dead series, the tell, uh, Telltale one, and then there's this one. Uh, this one's AMC. This one's low budget. Uh, it actually has Daryl in it. It's a really fun game. I liked it. Like I said, it's like one of those low budget games where... You uh you go around you go in different towns and kill zombies and all that other shit, uh, and it's a it's a pretty easy platinum. So I heard gunshots outside. <laughs> um, so anyways, that happens a lot around here. Um, but yeah, pretty easy platinum, pretty fun. If you're a fan of Daryl and The Walking Dead, then play it. Uh, Twisted Metal. The servers are offline now for this. You can still play the single player. One of the hardest games there is to platinum. Uh, there was a lot of bugs and errors in this game, um, and in my opinion too, the single player was actually really hard. Um, but it stays true to the other Twisted Metal games. Problem with this is they only had like four people working on this game. It took them like three or four years or something like that, and you know the the team fell apart before the game was released. So they just did not do a good job at fixing that game. Uh, wanted. Uh, decent decent game to platinum. I think this is based on the movie Wanted. Um, it has like this slow motion thing where you could, you know, when uh, they first did like the thing where you fall in the air, time kind of freezes, you slow down time, and you could bend bullets or whatever that was. Um, so a pretty interesting game to play. Um, and the platinum's like medium. Uh, not easy, not hard. Wolfenstein. Um... This is a hard game because of the multiplayer. It's going to take you a while. But there's a glitch. I was actually the, the person that found the glitch on this game. Where you can actually go on the leaderboards. And there's a certain trick that I posted somewhere. I think it should still work at the servers are still up. You can actually go into the leaderboard and copy somebody else's stats. And then the stats will copy over to you. And then... Uh, you could pop the multiplayer rank 50 trophy and all the other trophies, which is crazy. Um, but it's been so long, I don't remember exactly how to do the glitch, but I was the one who, who found out how to do it. It actually happened to me on accident, and then I spent like a week trying to replicate it, and then I figured out what it was. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, kind of low budget a little bit. Um, this is a pretty good game, especially if you like Wolverine. Not that hard to platinum. There's a, a 
couple of like moves that were kind of hard to do you have to figure out to do but uh like medium difficulty to platinum uh, pretty good game i recommend it so now we got a couple of ps4 games until we get to the last of the ps3 games um battlefield one um same as all the other battlefields really this one is based on i think world war one um and um uh, it's fairly fairly easy platinum really <clears throat> Battlefield 5, pretty much the same. Easy Platinum. Well, I mean medium Platinum. Um, but, uh, I think it was either, th it's either this one or this one. There's one trophy in it that you gotta use these, I think AA guns or something in the sky. And, um, it's really almost impossible to do. The reason why is because they patched it to make the guns harder to use in multiplayer. For some reason, that carried over to single player and made them harder to do. So what you want to do is get the disc version, uninstall the update, don't let it update, play offline, and finish the 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 single player on the original um, downgraded patch. Because then you'll have your AA guns will shoot how they're supposed to shoot. Borderlands 3... This game caught a lot of shit, but I like this game because it dropped a lot of legendary weapons. Now, like I said in, like, Borderlands 1 and 2, I barely got any good weapons in any of those games. This game is filled with legendary weapons. Now, I think that that's how this game should be, because the whole game is based on, really, loot. <laughs> the whole game is based on finding loot. So you get a lot of legendary weapons, and that's what I really liked. Plus, the game is easy. You platinum it a lot faster than the other ones. Um, Creed Rises to, Glo to Glory. This is a uh, PSVR game. Um, this game, for me, was extremely hard to platinum because you're punching with the, with the um, VR. You're punching the air. So you're punching something that's not there. So you'll be very sore when you play this game. Because, um, you know, like I said, I'm older. <laughs> Maybe if you're younger, you might not get as sore. But uh, I had to take breaks with this game, and it took me like a year. Um, Doom, this game was uh, pretty hard. It's a good game, but it's a hard game. I think there is a glitch where you could uh, skip around the map or something like that on hard mode. I don't, I don't really remember it. Uh, Duck Dynasty, like I said for PS3, this is the same as the PS3 version. Uh, shitty TV show, shitty game, but I loved it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Far Cry 4, um, almost all the Far Cries are the same. Kind of open world environment, um, and, you know, open world, you shoot guns. It's, a uh, they're all pretty, uh, all the Far Cry games are really fun. There's only one for, uh, Far Cry I haven't played, and that's Primal, because you don't really get, like, guns. You get, uh, like, bows and all that other shit. Um, Grand Theft Auto V, it's gonna take forever for you to finish. Um, you can transfer your save data from the, the PS3 version over to PS4. I don't know if they'll still let you do that or not, but, um, definitely save sometime if you, if you do it that way. Um, so we got, we're at the last stack here. Just Cause 4. This wasn't as good as Just Cause 3, but, uh, I really like Just Cause 3, but people didn't like Just Cause 3. Um, people like Just Cause 2 the most. This seemed like a low-budget, shitty, thrown-together game. There's not a lot of explosions like the last ones, um, but the Platinum is pretty easy. Um, if you could get it for cheap, I would recommend it. Um, but, like, you know, the Platinum for this is going to take a long time. Platinum for Far Cry 4 um, is fairly easy. Duck Dynasty, fairly easy. Really easy. Um, Doom is a bit harder. Uh, Marvel Collection. Now, we got three games in one here. Um, these are all pretty good LEGO games, but they take fucking forever. And a lot of the maps are... The open world map is kind of the same, but... It's, uh, it'll take you a long time to finish that, but it's good for the price. You get it for under 20, you got three games for under $20 here. Uh, Metro Exodus, now, this game, 
pissed me off for thousands of reasons. Um, the other Metro games were a little bit better than the, a lot better than this. There's too many fucking cutscenes. They throttle you. Um, there's too many decisions you can make that'll ruin the platinum, and you'll have to go back and redo everything. So you're constantly worried about what you're doing. So if you're playing for platinum, it's a shitty game. Um, but if you're just playing for fun, it's a decent game. If you want to listen to the stupid ass story, it's just I don't know. A lot of things I hated about this game. I don't regret playing it, but it's just like ugh. Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I heard recently they patched this to make the single player a little bit easier when you replay the missions. It took me and my friend two months straight after we got this on release day. We played it every day. It both took us about two months to finish this game completely because the online is, is insane to finish. Uh, Resident Evil Biohazard. This is basically Resident Evil 7. I like this because... This is like a, it kind of, it's a throwback to the old Resident Evils. Uh, you're in a house for the beginning of the game, and then I won't ruin the later of it, but you're kind of in a house with these like crazy, like, house in the hills, uh, leather face type of, of feeling. So it's like redneck hillbillies that you're trapped with that are trying to kill you, and then there's some zombies mixed in. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, really good game. Um, they really did a really good job with this, and I'm glad they did, and I'm glad they they took their time. Uh, highly recommend this. Um, and also, you could buy like the rocket launcher now in the DLC. They didn't have that at first, which makes the game extremely easy to platinum um, now. But you know, if you got it on a release day like I did, it you it was took a little bit of uh, learning the maps to to finish it. Um, Resident Evil 7, it's um, pretty medium to platinum. Um, not extremely hard, not extremely easy. Um, the Elder Scrolls Online. This one I haven't actually played yet, only because I heard the online trophies. There's like two or three of them that are ridiculous that you'll probably never get. So I just never started it. The Evil Within. Um, this is a really good game. And at the same time, an extremely hard game on Akumu mode. It is hard. Um, I did post some strategies on on, on how to, to beat it on it. But I think I, after the game, when you finish the game, it tells you how many times you died. And I think I died over 450 times trying to finish this game. But it's doable. But I've seen um, the percentage is like 8%, which means, you know... Most people that try it, that really want to finish it, can on a Kumu mode. But it's like I said, it's difficult, man. Uh, the Walking Dead. This game basically plays itself. It's like watching a movie, and you just, you know, click the decisions. Um, but it is a really good game. Um, there's a few different ones of this. I believe New Frontier was like the second one, maybe. There's one before this, and then there's the uh, the one with the chick with the dreads and stuff. <clears throat> Wolfenstein New Order. This is a easy game to platinum, but it was really stupid because um, as much as I'm a Wolfenstein fan, they when you when you're finished with the game, you're only about twenty percent finished with the, the the trophies. So you have to spend about eighty percent of the time grinding kills just to get the platinum. But it's a good game in general. Uh, Zombie Army uh, 4. All the Zombie Army games, um, they're really good. This one's pretty easy to platinum. Trilogy took a lot longer to platinum. Um, this one was really fun. You could do it in co-op. And I got the Steel Case Edition, which I still got uh, sealed here. So, the little Steel Case is pretty cool. Um, and then Zombie Land Double Tap. This game is really easy to platinum. It's based on the movie Zombie Land. Um, and, uh, you can get it on eBay brand new for under 20 bucks, and, um, I don't know, I just really liked it. It's a, it's kind of a, like, if you played Dead Nation before, this is what that game is like. Um, so we'll get into some of these other games that I haven't platinumed yet, but I'm, I'm kind of halfway through. Aliens vs. Predator, very hard game. Um, 
the online is really difficult to connect to. Um, so you could play try to connect for eight hours just to get like one win online. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but I got all the online finished. I just have to go back and do the single player someday. Um, but yeah, very hard game to platinum. Uh, Battlefield 3 <clears throat> Limited Edition. It's a good game, but um, there's some co-op trophies in this that you have to play on hard. And the connection is really shitty. And this is one of the only battle... This is actually the only Battlefield game I didn't platinum because of that. Um, I think I had all the trophies except the uh, multiplayer. Body Count. Um, this is like a shooting game. Uh, I didn't finish this yet because I didn't finish the uh, multiplayer. But um, pretty good... Um, I'd say middle budget type of looking game. It's a, uh, you know, PS3 graphics. It's pretty fun. I recommend it if you get it for pretty cheap. Um, pretty decent. Bulletstorm. This is a pretty good game. Um, kind of a, a shooter game, I guess you would say, but a unique type of shooter. But I think the servers are dead for this, for the multiplayer. So, um, I don't think you can get, I don't think you can get platinum. I think there might be a trick, a workaround to get it to, to connect. But, um, that's that. Call of Duty uh, Black Ops. I'm not a Call of Duty person. I I've recently, recently I just bought, um, a bunch of Call of Duty games. Um, so, I was always a Battlefield person. I started, I, I did play this like 12 years ago and I never finished it. That's why I just re-bought it. And the same with Modern Warfare 2. Um, Modern Warfare 3 I never played. Um... Homefront, this is like a shooter kind of. I didn't get through all that all the way yet. Um, but Black Ops, it is what it is. I mean, people know what it is. Dragon Age Origins, again, this is the same as the other one over there, except this comes with the DLC, the um, the Awakening DLC. So, if you like Origins, I, I would recommend just getting this edition instead, because uh, it's got everything in it. Like I said, the game runs a little bit clunky, so... Um, it might stop you from getting platinum, and it takes a long time to get platinum. Uh, Earth Defense Force. Um, I didn't finish this one because I didn't like this one. <laughs> There's a lot of Earth Defense Force games. What I did like is this one. Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Um, I like this one better. The graphics on this were a little bit better and a little bit more smooth to play with. This was a little bit more grainy, I guess you could say. And... Um, the thing is, is like after you finish this game, you're going to have to go back and replay a lot of the levels over and over again. Uh, so I just never finished grinding that one out. Gran Turismo 5. I didn't like this one because they don't have like damage on the cars. when you. I think in a race game, when you crash into a wall, your car should look like it crashed into a wall. Um, this is more of like a driving simulator. So maybe I'll go back to it one day. It, it's a hard platinum. It takes a really long time. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5, same as the PS4 version. Uh, the only reason why I got it in this pile is because I didn't finish the DLC yet. Iron Man 2, um, gotta make sure you don't get Iron Man 1, because Iron Man 1, I, it doesn't have trophies. I have to go back and finish this game as well. Um, it's kind of hard to use my PS3 controller, so I'm gonna go back and try it on my PS4 controller, and, and hopefully I can control it a little bit better. Uh, but it's a pretty good game. I like it. Um, Little Big Planet. I think everybody's played this one. I, I recommend the Game of Year edition. But good co-op. You'll need some co-op friends. Uh, Lost Planet 2. I haven't played that one yet. That's why it's in that pile. Medal of Honor. This one's a bit hard. A bit tricky. Because the online. You can't connect online. Um, now. If you're in America. You can connect online. Uh, and then you could invite people from Europe and pull them into your game but there's a there's a certain trophy um, on the multiplayer that well it's really hard to get um, you have to do these actions and uh, I think that's the only trophy I didn't get in the game that's why I don't have platinum on it yet um, Middle of Honor Warfire uh, I have to get back to this game I uh, I think the online might be dead or something was up with it. Um, I just really wasn't interested in that game. Not too bad of a game, but, you know, it's whatever. Mercenaries, I only played this for a little bit. Um, it's, it's a decent game, but here's the thing. There's a 
something to do with like the HPV trophy or something it's called. Um, I'll tell you a trick for that to fix that. That's one of the hardest trophies in the game I heard. Now if you get the German version of this game, the trick is in Germany they banned a lot of violence and stuff in video games and they just I think recently lifted that ban within the hour, uh, last um, year or something. So if you if you buy the Germany version of this game, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but it also has multiplayer, so you can only connect with if if the other person has the same copy that you have. So if you have the disc version in America, you have to connect with somebody who has the disc version in America. So if you buy the Germany copy and you want to play the multiplayer, you're gonna to have to find somebody else that has the Germany copy you know what I'm saying and the digital won't connect to the disc so you got connection issues going on there NBA 09 the inside this game is really awesome I'm not into sports games that much anymore but this game was actually in HD on PS3 it looks <laughs> it was in 1080p we're talking about this is when HD first came out this game looks fucking great for how old it is um and it's a really fun game. I really like it. But the online servers were dead. So that's the only bad thing about these sports games. Is the online servers go offline. And you can't platinum it. But it's if you like sports basketball games. I suggest that. And it's pretty hard to find. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This is one of my favorite Need for Speed games. Um, you can play against friends online and race them. Um... It's just really good. You play as the, the cop or the racer. There's a lot of damage, a lot of destruction. It's just a, a really awesome game. You could also import your music from your PS3 into the game and make a playlist. Uh, Rage, you can find this game usually cheap. Um, I mean, I paid $12. I think it's usually like $4 or something now. I didn't finish this one yet. Um... I just didn't feel like playing it, but it's like an open world shooter game with missions that you can get into. Pretty decent game, but it had, it's kind of like Brink. It had uh, shitty reviews. People didn't really like it. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I'm almost done with this one as well. It's a good co-op game. Um, but the, mul the multiplayer trophies can be a bit tricky. Uh, you need a, a few friends to play with you. Um... And this is a lot different than the other Resident Evil games. This is like a, a four-player um, shooter, pretty much. You run through the map from beginning to the end, shooting zombies, and you got four different characters. Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Um, the servers are dead for this on, on multiplayer, so you can't platinum it. Um, so it's, it's kind of a hard game, I'm not going to lie, but you can't finish it now anyways. Um... Uh, Resident Evil is a fun game also, but it's it's kind of hard to platinum. I'd say medium to hard. Um, Two Worlds, i got to get back to this one also. I only played this a little bit. Um, a fairly decent game. I, there's not much I can say about it because I haven't played it that much. And it's really hard to explain. Um, Uncharted, most people played that. I just never got around to finishing it. Wheelman, I actually found this a couple months ago. I didn't even know it, it was it existed. It's a Vin Diesel game, Wheelman. I think it's based on the movie or something. Um, I didn't. Pay, I definitely didn't pay thirty dollars for it. I paid seven. Um, this is kind of like another type of Grand Theft Auto. It's like an op open world environment. Uh, you do missions and you drive around the city doing the missions. Um, there's a couple of tricky ones in it that I read, um, so I haven't got around to finishing this yet because I just don't feel like playing that type of game. And then the last thing I have here is just the steel case for uh, Dead Island Riptide that came with it because I got it on pre-order which is uh, really cool. So I'm guessing this video is about an hour long at least. So we do have other games. I mean they're buried in my shelf here for other systems like Nintendo and stuff. But uh, these are just the um, PS3 ones that uh, we did today. So uh, maybe another day we'll go through maybe some Nintendo stuff. We have, um, you know, some consoles over there. We got 
GameCube, Nintendo, Genesis, we got Atari, um, TurboGrafx-16, um, got Homer Simpson, my vacuum, some subwoofers, <laughs> um, you know, all that other type of stuff. So, you know, I hope people uh, enjoyed this. Sorry that my voice is, is going. Um, probably should have did this a different day when uh, my voice wasn't going out, but uh, it is what it is. So, let me know if uh, if anybody liked this video, if it helped anybody, if it interested anybody. Um, maybe it'll help you find some new games to play. Like I said, go on eBay. Uh, a lot of people sell, like, type in PS3 lot on eBay and people will have a list of games and you can often buy a lot of games for like five dollars sometimes three dollars a piece and they do combined shipping so that's what I've been doing lately is getting like seven games for like 30 or 40 bucks and um, just stacking up my PS3 games before PS5 comes out so uh, yeah hope everybody enjoys and stay safe and stay the fuck away from that corona shit <laughs> peace hello this is Sal Rosenberg. Are you in there? I fell down the stairs and I lost my shoes and I lost my glasses. This is my arcade machine behind me.